They have that movie star look. Black nose, fluffy tail, wolf-like smile. Thor and Odin are no ordinary dogs. They're dire wolves. That's Thor as Greywind and Odin as Summer. Furry characters with a huge following in the mega hit Game of Thrones. People come from around the world to this small village south of Belfast for a pet and a picture. I mean, they're really cute, aren't they? I just want to like, take them home. It's a once in a lifetime experience. The dogs are northern Inuits bred to look like wolves. <laughs> Big, strong, and when it comes to treats, a little demanding. It's still at my hands. Will Mulhall bought the dogs with all of his savings as a lifeguard when he was 18. Just weeks later, the dogs changed his life. I got a phone call from the breeder to say some TV show wants to use my dogs in it. And I was like, cool, what's the show about? And the breeder was like, I don't know, like swords and shields and stuff. And I was like, kill them into that. It's become the most popular show in the world and big business for Will with tours, doggy meet and greets, rules as extras. That's Will as a wildling. Younger brothers Ross and Kaylin got into the act. All three were in last season's finale of Game of Thrones. Even dad had a role. He's the Dothraki slave master in season one. As they say in Dothraki. Thor and Odin's acting days ended in season one. The wolves are computer generated now. But their careers as doggy stars are going strong. They're insured for a million dollars each with their own social media accounts, regular spa days, and the occasional diva moment, big dog style. It's truly a dog's life. Wouldn't change it? Wouldn't change it for anything. No, I'm pretty happy where I am. I get to talk about Game of Thrones every day, and it's bring your dog to work there every day pretty much. So, yeah, it's awesome. For today, Kelly Cobiella, NBC News, Northern Ireland.